My name is Kevin Jones, and this is the Sending and Receiving Messages chapter from the Java API for WebSockets class. In this chapter, we look at how to send and receive both text messages and binary messages. And we look at how we can write an endpoint that will broadcast messages to the clients once it's received a message from a single client. Before we actually write any code, I'd like to give you some idea of where we'll be going in this class. So we'll be writing a chat application. This will be reasonably simple, but it'll, it will show up most of the features of WebSockets. So here I have two browsers running. At the top we have Chrome, and at the bottom we have Firefox. The way the application works is that a user joins a chat and then can enter messages. Once we join the chat, the user's name is broadcast to all listeners. So for example, if I go into Chrome, type in the name Alice and click on join, that name appears in both browsers. So we can see it on the right-hand side in Chrome, and we can also see it on the right-hand side in Firefox. So in this case, we are sending a message from the browser to the server. And this, is a, this is essentially a text message the server is then broadcasting that message to all listening clients. We can see the same if I go into Firefox and type in the name Bob and click on join here. Then again, the name is broadcast and appears in both browsers. The same is true with messages. If I go back into Chrome and go to the message window and type a message such as hello Bob and click on send, then the message is sent from Alice to Bob. And again, the message is broadcast and appears inside both browsers. So in this module, we'll write code that does that. We'll write code that takes, the, takes a message from a, from a client and then broadcast that message to all the listening clients.